Hey guys, I just wanted to do an EDC video, what I carry on a day-to-day -day basis. I love watching all you guys' video on YouTube of what you guys carry. It's interesting to see the uh, the contrast of what everyone likes, what everyone's opinions are on certain items. I think it's awesome. So I'll start off with my um, my blade, what I carry as a knife on an everyday carry. Um, Spyderco Delica, I find, is an incredible knife. Uh, sorry, it's kind of dirty. But um, it's super light. It's super sharp. Um, there's so many videos out there on the Spyderco Delica. Um, watch them all. Nothing fancy. Edge Weapon 88. They all have um, great reviews on this blade. And uh, you really can't go wrong with this knife. Um, when I'm not carrying that knife, I rock the Spyderco Persistence. Yes, I have the zip tie. <laughs> Works great too, by the way. Um, and both these knives, again, are left-handed carry because I am left-handed. And it's one of the major reasons why I like Spyderco's. All the options. But um, there's a few other knives out there. And I've mentioned to a few of the guys on online that uh, Kershaw as great as their knives are, they're one of the only companies that don't have left-handed carry knives. You've got to change that, Kershaw. I know you have a few knives, but not a lot of knives, and I love your knives. They're great. Quality is incredible. But I don't buy them because I can't carry them in my left pocket. I'm sure there's a bunch of dudes out there, too, who are left-handed and are limited to the type of knives we get. But luckily, we have a super fantastic, awesome company like Spyderco, who we can trust in and get some pretty wicked knives. So thank you, Spyderco, for uh, for being great. Um, yeah, persistence, full flat ground. Um, as you can see, I got a lot of wear on this. I beat the beat the shit out of it um, at work, and it's just fun to play with it all the time. And I used, I love the little zip tie feature that I added there. I uh, forget who I heard that from. I believe it was Cutlery Lover who I got that idea from. Uh, he mentioned that in one of his videos. But yeah, the only beef I have with this knife is the pocket clip is so damn tight in your pocket. It's it's almost too tight. As you can see, it's you know I'm pulling pretty hard versus the uh, you know. That's got a little bit more give. This is the perfect pocket clip that I've encountered so far. This one's a little stiffer, but again, it's a little heavier of a knife, so you don't want to fly it out of your pocket. But if it was a tad bit looser, it'd be the perfect pocket clip as well. But other than that, this is an awesome knife. Good price, good weight. But yeah. So I carry these two knives on a regular basis, rotate them off. Right now, I've been carrying this a lot just because I felt like I haven't been showing it enough love. But uh, yeah. Um, and also I'm just getting used to uh, carrying a Victoria Knox uh, cadet in my off pocket. That's sort of my off pocket knife, uh, backup knife, whatever. I just did a review on that so if you want to check it out. And also I have my keys, nothing special. Um, Got a couple of like little key fobs here. My pet smart pet works because I have two dogs. I love them. Love dogs. Uh, house keys. But I got here, I'm rocking the Phoenix E01. I picked that up. I love it. As you can see, it's got a nice little bright. It's supposed to be uh, 10 lumens, I believe. You know, it's pretty bright for a little one triple A. I believe it's a triple A. You can find out quickly. Yep. One triple A. And uh, you get 10 lumens. And I believe it lasts 17 hours, if I can't remember. But yeah, it's a great little light just to have on your keychain. I use it a lot, you know, just to look under, look around. If you've dropped something uh, outside in the dark, this thing is a champ. I know it's not like some of the other crazy lights, but it fits great on the keys, so I'll always have it on me. Highly recommend if you like little tiny flashlights, or even as a gift. It wasn't too expensive. It was only twenty bucks off of uh, 
phoenixtactical.com or .ca, I believe. And also, obviously, wallet. And this is something that no one mentions in their videos, and I'm going to start the trend, hopefully. <laughs> but uh, watches. Watches, that's right. You got to know what time it is. And um, no one ever talks about these. And damn, there's some pretty sweet watches out there that fit in that tactical role, or, um, you know, the second kind of cool, as Nothing Fancy always says. And I'm, I love watches. I have a bunch, but damn, this is the best watch I've ever owned, and I will never buy another watch that isn't a Casio G-Shock. And I have the MTG edition. Um, this thing can take a beating. If you go to their website, Casio G-Shock, check out what you can do to this watch. You can smash it, you can electrocute it, you can freeze it in ice, and it will, won't stop working. Uh, this particular watch is solar powered. I've, I've owned this watch for six, seven years. I've never had to change the battery. Um, that's awesome. Also, it keeps time with a satellite so I've never had to change the time it's always accurate within two or three seconds um, and yes it's Saturday at 9:40 a.m. on July 26 um, yeah but just look how sit thick okay you guys all know how thick a, you know Delica is look how thick it is almost as twice as thick as the Delica yes it's a lot of weight it's a heavy watch but this watch has no scratches got some dings on the outside but I've hit this watch, I've worn this watch every day for the last I don't know six or seven years for however long I've owned this watch and it's never failed so Casio G-Shocks they are awesome I highly suggest if you don't have one get one um, they have a ver they have over 60, 70 different models depending on what your style is they even make, this is a metal band adenized black you know, tactical I heard that a lot of troops wear this watch um, so you can see the wear there but I've, I've worn this watch a lot almost every day like I said and it's awesome so that's part of my EDC, this is my main EDC just to recap, Phoenix E01, Swiss Army Cadet, Spider Co Persistence, or Spider Co Delica, however I, whatever I'm in the mood for, Casio G-Shock, and a wallet, and I usually carry some gum on me too. And also, I just, you know, Leatherman, sometimes have that on me. I'll do a separate review on that, but I don't always carry this because I always have these. And they fill the role of my everyday carry. And also, sorry, I forgot. I brought this down. Let's see if I get this in the frame. Max Position. This is my Max Position Jumbo EDC, and um, I don't need to get this all in frame. There's a bunch of videos on YouTube about it. Check them out. Highly recommend if you like a side bag. It's great. Uh, cell phone carry doesn't come with the cell phone holder, I bought this extra. Uh, water bottle, always got a water bottle on me, I love being hydrated. And also, always in my Jumbo EDC, on this top portion, er, sorry, I have my uh, Ontario Rat one. And that's just to, just to have as a secondary tool, not a secondary weapon. Because uh, here in Canada, if we claim we're carrying a knife as a defense tool, we get put in jail. So, um, it's a tool. If you ever in Canada, if a cop ever asks you why you have a knife, it's a tool. Never say it's for self-defense. Because then you have an intent to use it as a weapon. So, um, I'll talk Canada knife politics in other videos uh, later. But uh, this is just to show what I carry on an everyday carry. And uh, that's all I got, guys. So if you have any questions or comments, or you want to subscribe, because I'm going to be making a bunch more videos in the future, um, kind of getting the YouTube bug 
and uh, it's fun. It's something else to do. It, uh, yeah, gives me it gives me something to do on my days off. So, uh, thanks for listening, guys. Bye.